happening, y'all? Uh, we live from the evacuation. Meaning, you know, we was chilling. And the last hurricane, we were like, yeah, we got, well, actually, the last hurricane was last week. That was nothing. But the one before that, that tore our dock up, we flat broke out. Right? And that was when we first got there. I wasn't ready to be dealing with no fucking hurricanes in Florida. But this one, we were like, all right, we're going to try to, like, grind it out and stay because none of our neighbors were leaving. And the people that we knew that are from Florida, like, every day, all day, were like, yo, y'all, it kind of seemed like we were soft if we was leaving. Pause. So I'm like, you know, look at, I'm looking at the news, and I'm looking at, like, our, our, our algorithm. So, like, when the fires happened in Malibu, we ended up right in smack dab the middle of the fire. I had to drive through it. And it's like, yo, damn, the whole world's talking about this and we in it. And then even when we were in Wyoming this summer at the ranch, the fire that everyone was talking about, it wasn't right where we were at, but it was close enough that we could smell it. And I'm like, damn, why are we always in the mix? And then like, even, uh, it just always, man. It's just always, wherever shit is going on, we always in the mix. So, I'm thinking, of course we get here, and the illest hurricane, they, they starting to not even call it a five. They talking about making up a new number for it, like a, a six. And I'm like, of course we probably end up right in the thick of things and be challenged. You know, we'd work it out, but who wants to be uncomfortable, plus with a baby and four dogs, and then Rocky started stressing a little and Nicolette and all the people that were calling. And finally, we were like, yo, let's just get up out of here, right? As long as we can get gas, we got a place to go. You know, you always kind of have to have... You If you live in a place where, you know, natural disasters happen, like hurricanes, like once a year, you got to have a hurricane house on deck to go to. So, you know, we developed that and we figured it out so we know where we're going amongst family and all that. But I'm sick of this shit, I ain't gonna hold you. So I'm chilling with my man, Dusko. Say what up? What's poppin'? We evacuated? Yeah. Yeah, we was out, right? We just mad because we can't play golf. So we gonna go and make sure that this week we find a place to play golf. You know? But either way, it's like, yo, if, if people warn you, like, you know, the people like, oh, it's government conspiracy and all this other shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm out. Sorry for cursing, but like that. I don't care. Like it's like we they gonna warn us so much that we gotta go. You know what I mean? And uh yeah, getting big. And uh, you know, I got a family, you know, and this is again even this like evacuation is still fun when you're with the people you love. As long as they're not panicking, you know what I mean? See the thing about panic is it's contagious. So if you yell at somebody in a state of panic, and they yell at you back because you're responding to panic. And then they get mad at you for yelling. Like, why are you yelling? But, yo, you panicking. Like, I yelled at me. I yelled back. You know, that's just a reaction. It doesn't work out for people that aren't good for with uh, anxiety. So I'm not a guy that loves anxiety so much. And if shit is bothering me, I got to fix it quick. And if the people that I'm, I love are bothered, you know, then I'm bothered ultimately. So at the end of the day... Hopefully everyone in Florida, because the, the, the mayor was like, yo, whoever stays could die. Like, literally said that. Like, yo, when we told you to evacuate and you don't, then you could die. That means go, right? It, and that means you can't, like, gamble on that. Like, oh, she might be bugging. What if she's not bugging? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Time to go. Now, let me show you all. We got dogs in the crib. We got dummy rather. We had to bring the dogs. All three, and then Governor's in the back because he's too rowdy, you know. And then we got Nick Nicky over there. Hello, everyone. Bullshit. Oh, so I try to stay from behind him. So download America New, our family's company. Check the vibes. We have new uh, content for health as wealth, for dash shot diabetes. Um, um, the Prince of Detroit is free. Check out the Prince of Detroit. 
We just broadcasted the celebrity boxing. So just type in America, type in in you. Yes, Raquel's very sweet. That's why we've been together for the last 10, 15 years, I think, you know? And I was a guy that you would never think would get wiped up and booed up. I used to be outside. But when you find what you want, there's no reason to look anymore. And you know, everyone has their shit about them. Like, I'm not perfect, she's not perfect. But the, the, the good outweighs the bad by far. And there really is no bad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was unfolding. So we got downloaded America New. Again, I, I stopped calling people out because no one shows up. I, I, I do like to go company for company. You know, to the extent that, you know, people that have tried to say things about me make up lies, like, on live TV, but I'm over it. But I do, I, I, I like to have some degree of comp so we have something to compare things to. But do check the network. It's my son's network. You ready to run your own television network, buddy? And you got Apple Fish Kids. You got your own children's network, right? Yeah, you're doing it. You got your own books, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got your own TV shows, own movies, own soundtracks, your own bucket, your own clothing line. You a CEO, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got to start teaching them early. I mean, if you don't know nothing else but that, and his normal will be to think it boss. It'll be not normal for him to think any other way. You know what I'm saying? But being able to spend this kind of time with your family, like, you know, regardless to what I've been able to live a lot of different kinds of lives, whether it's running around, putting my business before love, you know, visiting my kids instead of actually living with them. And, 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 and you know, to me, I think the ultimate wealth is just to be able to be with your family all day long, period. And, and, and that's the most fun to me. Like, how could I let him hang out with somebody but his dad? Or let another male be his influence? Or even let... You know, his mother be the one that is his strongest influence in having doing feminine stuff. You know what I mean? Say, so we a man right here, right? Give me five. We know how to take it. Don't leave me hanging. Give me five. All right, then. We know our job. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I have to lead by example in front of him. It's important because I'm a source of, like, inspiration, or at least, you know, his definition of what a man is is what he sees. So I gotta make sure he sees the right stuff and that he gets the right swag. But he already, this is, I don't tell him to wear a bucket. He makes me wear a bucket hat, right? And you like your Hot Wheels and all that, your cars, you like country club life. He picked all that, not us. He swims, he does all that. So I'm having a ball, I'm not gonna hold you. And I wanna lead by example, I wanna show y'all that, you know, there really isn't as much weirdo shit in hip hop as people may think, but, um, it does exist, and that might be what's in a certain degree of pop culture control. But there really is people that care about the fundamentals, respect the art, and really understand that love and life is priceless. Living that is an art, and doing it the right way. You know what I mean? He definitely sleep. We trying to stay up. You staying up, buddy? You gonna go take a nap? Then hold your pillow. I told you hold this pillow. Hold that pillow. Here we go. You know? So I suggest anyone that, you know, I'm, I'm sure that we all have, you know, the experience we have children with women that we break up with, but if you could really find a solid foundation, someone that you can have a child with and, and want to be around every day, and y'all raise that child together, your life is complete harmony no matter what's going on, you know, as long as everyone's healthy. But you got to appreciate that, and that's all that really counts, man, you know? This is the, 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 the things that are, don't cost are priceless. And people just take that lotto ticket and rip it up and throw it away. You know? And, and, and us thinking that a life of fame and, and, and physical money is what determines a person's legacy and, and, and health and, and happiness and health, that's all bullshit. It really is. You know? And you can't have fun with your family. If you don't have a good relationship with your family and you know again like if you've never had one you don't know what it feels like to have them think about what it feels like to have a functional relationship with a woman and be with your child and, and the mother or the father of your kid every single day raise them together always having a certain degree of support of course you're going to get on each other's nerves every now and again because that happens as human 
But at the end of the day, everybody's good money. Look, look. Still falling asleep? Yeah? There you go. You know what I mean? And to be there to be like, yo, it's a hurricane? Come on, let's all get out of here. Let's get out of here together. And and do it in a way that's not compromising any quality of living. That's important as well. So that's why I try to showcase um, what I consider my wealth. And it don't matter what nobody thinks. As long as you're doing what makes you happy and makes the people you love happy, then you're doing the right thing. So these are the ideals that come with America new, being independent, being able to showcase things that matter to us, you know, things that evolve us as a culture, make us better healthy-wise, spiritually, economic, teach you how to dream. Like, if I could do it, you could do it type shit, that kind of thing, you know, family ran. And, you know, people have never seen nothing like this done. All these verticals done in such a boutique way, from media all the way down to fashion, all of that, to books. You know, if you have good taste in one thing, you should have good taste in pause in everything. You know, even in, 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 uh, in evacuating. Like, you got to evacuate with good taste. You know what I'm saying? You can't just run around crazy without a plan and have the family uncomfortable. You know, if, the, if, if, you, if, if you don't have a generator, you better really get out of Florida because definitely 100% of the power is going with that wind. And definitely the internet, get, if you don't have the starlight, you're going to be done. That's what it's called, right? The starlight? Yeah, I think Starlink. Starlink. And, you know, if you're around the ocean, that shit would scare me. Like, we live on the lake, and that scared us. But we were like, you know, again, we're not from out here. Everybody that lives on the lake said, don't worry about it. Um... But forget all that. You know, you just never know. And, you know, to, to get in the, the Sprinter and go where we got to go to our hurricane house, it uh, it's not the worst thing. It's, it's a couple hours. And we thought we wouldn't be able to get on the road because of the traffic. And we thought that there wouldn't be any gas available. But actually, there hasn't been so much traffic. So if you do have the opportunity or the wherewithal to make yourself comfortable and you in Florida and one of the places where they said evacuate get up out of there just that's just me you know what I mean you know it's, it's not about the storm it's like the effects of the storm after so if there's no food or if there's no and plus it be hot so if you ain't got no air condition for a couple of hours and, and, oh man and then the, the water don't work and you ain't got a pool to get the, the, the toilet going I'd be out you know but either way, um, I just wanted to tap in. We got a new interview out on American New. Check that out. You know, I'm going to give you all that every week. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of new things. New albums. What we've been doing. What we've been doing is we've been, uh, we've been, uh, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. What are we talking about this Somebody just texted me and threw me off. But, uh, I forgot what he was talking about. Either way, download American New. Check it out. Definitely scripted shows coming through. And scripted shows are on American New. So type in America. Type in NU. Worrying about another man's net worth is like, you know, trying to see what's behind his zipper if you're a dude or a girl. So don't ask another man what he got in his pocket. And the real man ain't gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? What's poppin'? Definitely got to bring back the ultimate hustler. Yeah, Florida, definitely. I think my, my battery might die soon. So, yeah, I was just tapping in. I wanted to say what up. Yeah, new album coming through. Freeway. Uh, the Black Guns. We're going to put that one out in December. We just listened to it. Right? We approving the mix. Mix is done. Freeway likes it. Tash likes it. Putting that out. So, that's coming out through Blue Rock Paws. And we're almost, I think we're going to make, we should be at 85,000 downloads. That means we're 15 away from 100. And that means I don't have any choice but to start paying it full. I got to. I said I would. I'm a man of my word. And I'm doing it. Thank you. Now, we being sick. That's why we got up out of here. You know? Rocks and racks are, I mean, oh, you mean, and uh, it depends. We're going to see. I definitely want to.